Hi, and welcome back to the next session in the CD3 Automation Toolkit series. Before we begin, let's have a quick recap of what was covered in the previous video. We learned what is CD3, what is CD3 Automation, who should use the CD3 Automation Toolkit, we saw a few competitive advantages and glimpsed through an example CD3 template. In this video, we will download and install the Rancher Desktop and configure it to run Docker commands. Without further ado, let's get started. We'll be following the steps in the documentation to download and install Rancher Desktop. This documentation is also attached to the video. Please download it from there. Today, I'm going to be using a Mac operating system. So I'll be following the steps that's displayed on the screen. But if you have a Windows or Linux, please follow the steps listed below based on your operating system. Okay. So starting with the first step, we need to download Rancher Desktop. I'm going to copy the link, go to my browser, paste it. I'm using the one with an Intel chip, so I'm going to download this. This will take a few minutes. I'm going to pause the video right here and be back once this completes. So the file is downloaded. Next thing to do is to drag and drop it to the applications folder. So let me go to this, double click, drag and drop. That's done. Next thing to do is to start your rancher. So let me go and start my rancher desktop. Open. We need to choose only Docker D and disable Kubernetes. So let's see this in the settings. Okay. I'm going to the settings. Docker D is enabled. Kubernetes is disabled. That looks good. I'm going to leave it as it is and wait for my virtual machines to be up. There you go. That's done. Now the next thing is to open your terminal and execute docker images command. Going to my terminal, I'm going to run docker images. You can execute any docker command. That looks good. This marks the end of this video. Please join me for the next one where we will be downloading the toolkit image and running a container from it. Thank you.